What's up YouTube? I'm Wanna Turtle and we're back with some more Modern Horizons. We are finishing off our third box. Um, we're off to a very strong start. Our EV for just half the box is already at 136. We pulled uh, like three, or no, two Horizon lands, but we also got a foil mythic. Uh, definitely go definitely go check out that video if you haven't seen it to see which foil mythic we got. All right, well, we we're hoping to break that 240 EV, although I'd be satisfied as long as we break 200. All right, for our first, oh my gosh, the first sliver. Right off the bat, we got a huge mythic. First sliver, Cascade. Yes, why I like crashing foothills, uh, footfalls. I've Anything with Cascade, I think it works really well. Sliver spells you cast have Cascade as well. Oh man, that is insane. Huge hit right there. I... Fire to flashback. Um, I think we're we're going to do this. I wonder if this has the potential to be our best box yet. And the foil mythic we pulled in the first box was absolutely insane. Uh, but I think we can beat it. So that one was about 280. That's a weird card. Weird art. Endling. I keep skipping the land. Endling. Not too crazy about Endling. Feaster of Fools, Rebuild, and Order of Furage. Okay, guys, as always, if you do want to support the channel, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. And uh, if you're not already a sub, hit that sub as well, along with the bell, so you do get notifications whenever we do an upload. We do tons of Pokemon content. Obviously, we do Match and Gathering. We do some Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, we've started playing some PTCGO, so if you're a fan of that as well and want to watch me fumble around, <laughs> uh, definitely hit that sub button. Um, yeah, still learning. All right, let's see. We got a decoy. All right, we've cooled off a bit, but that's okay. First sliver, yes. That's definitely one card that everyone's looking for. The only uh, mythic chase mythic that's left is Urza himself. And man, if we pull that as well, that would be insane. Ah, we pulled one of these before. I don't remember this weird uh, kind of shapeshifter thing. Oh, water lo waterlogged grove. Our first horizon land. We're actually gonna put this right here. Actually, maybe we'll put the all the big hits. Scale up! Alright. Put that here for best uncommon in the set by far. Alright, one mythic, one horizon land, and we still got plenty of packs. That's a cool art. Mountain, and ooh, uncommon ice hide golem. And then Unsettled Mariner. That's a good one too. I feel like this one, the price is still creeping up. Rider, Hollow Head Sliver. Okay, have you, uh, have you, have your, how are your own openings going uh, with Modern Horizons? Have you not opened any? And kind of like, what's your hesitation? I do feel like it's a lot of fun. It is quite expensive though. Got a, another Ayula. This is our second Ayula. So we did double up on that one. Uh, and are you opening something else? Are you? I feel like there's um, the speculation just quickly jumps onto the next biggest thing where War of the Spark was a huge success, but then everyone went to, oh, Modern Horizons coming. Let's focus on that. And now everyone's talking about Core 2020. Uh, but yeah, what what are you excited about in the Magic World right now? It's probably not Cisse. Uh, I feel like just a lot going on. I'm not sure what what is the next uh, next set after core. Like what the story is going to go to next, especially after like a huge story storyline ending with War of the Spark. I feel like that story actually started like an it goes at least to Amon Ket and that kind of stuff. Throat Seeker. Okay, well, I feel like we're cooling off again. It's time for another big hit. Will we get it right here? So far, though, our counts are good. Three Horizon Lands. That's our fifth Mythic. Pulled one of these guys as well. Card is sur doing surprisingly poorly. Frostwork Bastion, Sadistic Obsession, and then Ravenous Giants. 
Let's see, but yeah, Core 2020 looks like some interesting stuff. Some pretty cool Planeswalkers. Three Chandras, or was it three or four? I think it was three. Bunch of knives. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Alright guys, we pulled so many Mythics in this box. Oh my gosh, I'll, at the end, I'll... Uh, maybe I'll do a full... Um, a full recap. I'm definitely going to do the TCG player app. First Sliver and Urza in the same box. Plus some Foil Mythic. Plus three Horizon Lands. Plus still unopened packs. We got the best Rare earlier. Oh my gosh. This might, is this going to be our best box yet? I think it's possible. On Thin Ice. When I first read it, I thought that, oh, that, that sounds amazing. But... Nope. The fact that it needs to be on a um a snow land, that just means you can like ghost quarter it. Illusion Cisse Mountain Oh gosh. When I saw the gold and then in as a land, I thought it was the prismatic vista. That would have been insane. Force of Vigor! That's a pretty good one. It's a cool way to destroy um, multiple enchantments and artifacts uh, with at instant speed. I feel like that will really hurt anything that's like really artifact based. And it's a good thing just to have some enchantment hate in the sideboard. Alright, snow covered plains. Ru Give her ruins. Very nice. Um, I'm curious, I feel like a lot of people use a braid, I think, is it, to get rid of the Trinkle Thicket? To get rid of that kind of stuff. Oh my gosh, this is insane opening. Do me a favor, hit that like button down below. We got Urza. We got First Sliver. We got a Foil Golem. Hogak. Swamp. Nether Spirits. Not sure what Nether Spirit is for. Is that supposed to be like a dredge thing? But that won't last long. Okay, let's keep the fire coming. Force of despair. Island. Oh, <laughs> the best Horizon Land. Oh my gosh. This opening is insane. This box is a. I saved the. This might be my last box I open. Uh, but we might have saved the best for last. My gosh. I can't wait to do the TCG player app. Alright, Shapeshifter. There he is. Ranger Vios. Yes. And a vampire. Cord cordial? Cordial? Farmstead Gleaner. Tribute Mage. And Squirrel Nest. That is funny. All right, come on. Two packs left. Don't think we need any more get or any more fire, but can we get it anyway? Urza's charm and boom, future sight. What does this card do? Put the top card library. Real you may play. Eh. Five mana, not good enough. Feels like that's very similar to Bolus's Citadel. Alright, last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? As always, guys, like, comment, subscribe, all down below. For our last pack, we have Merit Lodge. Soul Herder. Alright, so we only got one scale up, which is a little bit disappointing. All right, let's see. Anything else of note in here? Giver Ruin's pretty good. Force of Vigor's pretty good. Mariner's pretty good. We got a scale up. And then the Fiery Islet, the best Horizon Land. And I think this one's pretty high up there too. Waterlogged Grove. And for our two Mythics. So wait, let me think. Is that a four Mythic box? Urza, the High Artificer. And the First Sliver. I wonder how many people are going to make this work. That's a, that's that's going to be tough to cast. All right, I'm going to go switch over to DCG play app. See how we did for the whole box. 
All right, and we're back. So we got so close, but we had a huge EV 260. Um, yeah, I'm still surprised that that Ranger EOS fail, uh, foil is still only 31. Um, but Force of Negation, best rare. And wait a minute, let's go to sort by price. All right, <laughs> Urza. Do you, I guess we didn't pull the Ren, uh, Ren and Six, but we got Urza and the First Liver and a Foil Mythic and Force of Negation, Fiery Islet, three. So we got three of the Horizon Lands, Nurturing Peatland and Waterlogged Grove. Give her ruins, very nice. Oh, Sign Clearing. Wait, Sign Clearing. Uh, well, I guess we pulled the Sign Clearing as well. So that's four. I don't actually remember pulling that. Uh, four of those. A Sword and Sinew, Unbound Flourishing, and then a bunch of other solid rares. Cast, I do, I have faith in Cast that she'll go up. Um, and we did pull one scallop as well. Wait a minute, future sites. That's the wrong one. Ah, whatever, it's only 70 cents. But, uh, so there we go. Uh, huge opening. Had a blast doing it. And yeah, 38 cards. And then we had a Ranger of Eos Foil. And then the scale up. So that does equal 36. So we did do it correctly. Um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Another huge opening. We didn't break our record for the EV, but 260. Uh, that is awesome. Super happy about that. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.